Good morning to you. This morning I'm going to cover question 5.2 of the May June 2016 CRS 1512 exam paper. What it asks here is that you must code the interface for class SA to Africa as derived from the class travel. Override the member function display info for class SA to Africa. Do not provide any implementation. So basically all they're asking us to do is have a look at this class, SA to Africa. We remove what, uh, what we've already defined in travel, which is a 5.1 question. And then we add the extra um, variables and member functions that are missing. Now, in my previous video, I got ahead of myself and I just made, um, yeah, made a whole lot of uh, these accessor and mutator functions um, defined here. And so, in the end, I realized that they've got the, the sets and the gets um, within, the, within, the, um, within these other member functions defined here. So, we, we can actually take out even this top, uh, this top section here because this doesn't apply since we, uh, yeah, since we've got, we've got our, our accessor and our mutator functions. This is our mutator one where we're setting variables and this is our accessor one where we are uh, retrieving variables. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm going to leave it like that and if we go to our SA Africa header file because that's what they're asking us to do we need to now remember that we're converting the standard SA to Africa class to call on the um, public the public SPA class so now we need to remember to add um, the include over here for our header file, which is our include and travel, travel.h file, okay. And then on top of that, we change our class over here from a standard class to represent a, a subclass by uh, putting public over here and calling our class, which is travel. now get um, well, we will now be able to use uh, in this class okay so we leave our default constructor as it is over here and we add the overloaded constructor which is these other these other ones um, all over here and like I say and what I normally do is I actually uh, just go down from the member the member variables working backwards. So when we looked at uh, our travel class, you can see these are the variables or the member uh, variables that we're using. And there is an extra one for SA to Africa, which is a string YF for yellow fever. So we just put that in here, string, and we say YF. Okay, and we make sure we got our semicolon. And we can put the yellow fever. Uh, and then over here we need to construct our overload constructor, which includes all of the things that we've got for um, travel. So I'm going to just copy it directly from here. Um, we just add it to this over here and we need to also include our extra member variable which is this string yf over here okay um, there we go and then obviously with these things um, they've specified uh, what we could rename them to um, we can use this YF as yellow card. Right. 
whatever we have um, we just specify in order as they've got it here Passport. Okay. Thing to flight number. According to what they've got specified over here. Okay. Um, then we we're going to need to use uh, the rest of these functions at the top here are already in the previous uh, in the previous travel class. Um, you'll see them here. We go to home. Uh, set details and set flight are already there. So the only one that's missing is this void set yf. So that's what we add um, over here. After our, I think after our destructor. That's here. Void. We are adding a string y f here. That's our set. Then we've got a void get flight details there. Get flight details, so we're okay with that. So now we only need to copy the next two. Our return of our type string over here. String and get underscore yf and okay. And then they basically say use the overloaded function display info, which is basically just saying we just need to have a copy of this inside of this uh, inside of this here. And that is basically our answer for question 5.2. I hope that this has been helpful and that uh, you'll use the uh, method and the approaches that uh, I'm trying to show you through these videos in applying your knowledge when you're writing the exam. Good luck with the exam and thank you for watching.